All right. So for this um, lesson, I actually don't know if I want to use this base um, Mixamo model I've been using because I'm actually going to be using animations from Mixamo. And I want to show how you can take any uh, FBX with a skeleton and essentially map it to that, uh, that Mixamo animation that you want. Even, even though the skeletons have completely different names and probably different joints and uh, all that stuff, we're going to use any animation to animate our character. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go into CG Trader. And I'm going to go ahead and just find some sort of rigged character that's free. All right, so I went ahead and grabbed a FBX from CG Trader. And let's open it up. So it came with a few, so let's just do the Y up T pose. So, all right, awesome. So we got this guy in here now. And then we earlier um, downloaded an animation from uh, from Mixamo for, and I think in the first class, um, we got a little uh, a little Roomba dancing um, animation of that base character. Um, so there's a few ways you can import animations that aren't on your your normal mesh. So you can um, just bring it in through this animation uh, FBX file, or um, I usually like to just go ahead and drop a animation node. I'll go ahead and do that right now. So if I hit tab and I go FBX animation import, uh, this node essentially replaces this input. So uh, if we bring this in, so if I hop back up and I select that Roomba dancing, you'll notice that we get a terrible result. And then if we isolate this, this is what that animation looks like on the skeleton. So that is not at all what we're seeing here. So essentially, we want to match uh, these points to the um, to the animation so that this character dances like that Mixamo animation. So to get this animation onto this mesh, uh, we need essentially three nodes. So if we hit tab, and then we need to bring in a rig match pose node. We need to bring in a map points node. And then lastly, there's going to be a full body IK solver. So I'll move these out of the way. And for right now, we're just going to focus on this guy. So we'll take the first input, uh, which will be our uh, third input on our FBX import. And then we'll take the second input on this rig match pose and plug it into our animated uh, skeleton from Mixamo. I'll go ahead and hit Y to just cut that. Um, so the goal of this, we're going to be uh, trying our best to align this skeleton with the our, our skeleton we have so if we uh, get going on this we're going to tweak rotate lengths essentially we're going to want to um, align things if you want to change around hop around from from viewport to viewport real fast the quickest way i know is just spacebar and then the number uh, values at the top of your keyboard so spacebar one is just like your your perspective view spacebar two is top and then if you hit again then it's going to be bottom spacebar three is your front and then again is your back uh, spacebar four is your right spacebar four again is your left and then i believe you start getting into uv views and we don't really want that so let's go spacebar one and this is our top view actually let's let's start with the front so we want to align these as well as we can and actually from the beginning, let's go ahead and in this node, we can scale the scene down. Actually, it might, it might be about right actually. So uh, let's just start tweaking these. And in order to tweak, uh, just by grabbing the end of the node, you need to have tweak rotate links on. And then this isn't gonna be the best match right now but I'm gonna go ahead and just show the next few steps. Um, again, you probably wanna spend a little more time um, matching this up uh, if you want. You can always try, if you need these procedural, so you can always edit this later if it's not giving you great results. So then you plug these into the map points node and you essentially 
want to it's best if you offset it a little bit just so you can kind of see what you're connecting and as long as you have the the viewport um your your uh handle enabled which is this thing um to get there you just have to hit enter um if you are on something else like if you're on select or something like that just hit escape and then hit enter and you'll get back to this and then with this selected uh, you just click the point you want to connect, and then you select the its its reference point. So we'll go ahead and we'll do this for the right points. And you don't gotta do all of them. You just have to do whichever ones you think will be necessary to get the right animation. And sometimes you'll run into things like this where you're not quite sure because um, this guy's got two x up. Actually, no, we, we got two here, never mind. But sometimes you'll run into situations where, like, say, the spine on this guy will have, uh, like, five joints instead of four, and you're not really sure where to put it. Um, that's kind of up to you. You can play around with stuff, and that's something we'll also play around with in the, the weights of the IK solver. To delete a point, you should just be able to control middle click twice. So if you just... Uh, have a selection and then you, you don't want this anymore, you, you messed up, say, uh, you plug this guy into the head or something like that, and you definitely don't want that. So uh, just control and then double tap the middle uh, mouse button, and you should be able to get right out of that. All right, and then, um, so we're gonna plug these guys into the full body IK solver, and then immediately you're going to get, uh, with the default values, it, since we're we're doing a, a match move and we're we're using a map points and all that stuff, we actually do want this mapping attribute as the the, the default type, which is the default type, but usually um, causes issues if you're trying to just run a normal IK, uh, full body IK. Then if we bring that in, then we should have our animation. <laughs> Some parts of it aren't as good as they they could be, so we can go into this full body IK, and we can start um, running some of these configurations. I'm also gonna go ahead and build the tolerance down a little bit just because that usually helps. And I'm gonna go ahead and give the hit value a little bit higher of a weight. Maybe, maybe, maybe I don't wanna do that actually. So we're getting this weird, um, bent leg look and we can tell that we don't want that uh to be working the way it is so yeah so it looks like in here it's gonna just come down to how we have the rig match pose set and we can honestly play around with this viewport at the same time if we want to figure it out till we get it right. See if my toe is a little bit still a little messed up. Maybe this guy could go a little bit out or maybe in actually. So again, a lot of this is is it's a little tedious sometimes um to get the animation right um you can also if the, the feet are something that i often have uh difficulties with as far as um getting like a good um good stuck feet and like blending between uh animations and things like that uh, so you can actually just use like a skeleton blend or something and uh only skeleton blend uh the rest of the body or maybe just like dial down um the effect of the the, the the feet, if you want, um, might be helpful to you. But then uh, you can see, we got this guy going, I'm gonna delete this hip. I'm actually going to make the legs the most important, again, like I used to do. <laughs> yeah, so we're getting, um, So it's looking terrible, but 
it you can see where I'm where I'm going with this. Um, if we want to increase how uh, well this full body IK solver is is working, we can bump up these iterations. Um, again, it's going to make it slower, but uh, it will make it a little bit more accurate. We can do something like maybe let's let's see what happens if we add a center of mass. So it helps a little bit. So I think that it, this isn't the best example of of a perfect version of this, but you can see kind of how you could use these tools um, to to really uh, transform uh, your FBX rig or our our rig character with any other animated skeleton uh, that's out there. So thanks for watching, and um, we'll continue with more KinFX stuff in the next video.